other. Start it slow and get comfortable. Get into position, such as the spoon or the stargazer. Get physical. Play with their hair or some kissing. Try running your hands down their body or tickling them. Start slow. Maybe your partner has been clear that they want to cuddle, or maybe you're taking the initiative to start your snuggling. Regardless, it is best to start slow. Don't jump into cuddling, literally, don't jump on them, no matter how impatient you are. Place a hand on their shoulder, back, or on their waist to show your intent. Rest it there for a few minutes or give a light rub. Be aware of environmental factors. So you've done the basics, and are ready to proceed into real cuddling. Before you make the transition though, keep in mind important environmental factors. Is it hot out? Because you might have to limit the amount of physical contact you have in order to avoid turning into a swamp monster. Are you on a couch or a bed? Or something else entirely? The amount of space you have to sprawl will change the cuddling positions you can perform. Get comfortable. You're about to be held down in the hug for quite some time, so make sure that you're comfortable first. If you plan on doing some long-term cuddling during a movie or before bed, change into comfortable clothes or grab a cozy blanket. Although you might be resting on the other person, having a pillow present might be a good idea too. Do a little rubbing. The PG kind, rub your partner's back, legs, or arms in a sensitive and endearing fashion. This may or may not be the same as light massage. The goal here is to make the other person comfortable and interested in further cuddling with you. When you have transitioned into true cuddling, you may choose to continue the light rubbing to prolong the positive feelings you both get from it. Go with the classic, and spoon. The most traditional of all cuddling positions, spooning is popular for a reason, it's great. Spooning consists of a big and little spoon, where both partners lay on their sides tucked into each other. The big spoon is the one in the back, and often drapes their arm over the torso of the little spoon. Try out the half spoon. Nearly as classic as a complete spoon, the half spoon is accomplished with one person laying on their back and the other facing them, laying on their side. The person on their side will likely rest their head on the other's chest. Intertwine your legs for an even more intimate cuddling session. Layer up. Best for cuddling in tight spaces, layer your cuddling by having the larger person lay face up. The second person can then rest face down directly over the bottom half. To avoid suffocation of the lower stack, the top person should stagger their body slightly downwards, so that they can turn their head to the side and rest it on the bottom half's chest. Go face to face. One of the most romantic cuddling positions is when you lie towards each other face to face. You may lie on your stomachs and turn your heads to the side, or lay on your sides, whatever works best. Increase the romantic feeling swirling around the room by holding hands in the space between your bodies. Try the stargazer. You know, you and your partner are out camping or watching a meteor shower, and therefore want to cuddle but both need to see the sky. Lay on your backs next to each other and wrap your legs together. If you don't mind a dead arm, one of you can slip their arm under the neck of the other person in a half embrace. You can also hold hands over your torsos or in the space between your bodies. Contrary to the name, this can be done under any circumstance, not just when stargazing. Lay your head in their lap. This cuddling move is great for when you want to talk and makes maintaining eye contact easier. Have one person sit up, while the other lays down perpendicularly to them with their head resting in their lap. This gives the person sitting up a great opportunity to play with their partner's hair or sweetly stroke their face. Run your hands down their body. Lightly stroke their body with your fingertips. Run your hands down their torso, along their legs, or along their arms. This is easiest to do from a spoon or half spoon position, but can accomplished in any cuddling form. And that's it, put like for this video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and write in the comments what video you would like to see next time. Goodbye.